Hello everybody, so it is time for another comparison video. Today we have the Visconti Sforza deck, or also known as the Pepon Morgan collection of the Visconti Sforza, or the Visconti Tarocchi. And so we have here the Il Menegello edition, which you have seen in my other video. I will link either up here, click on the eye there, or down below. This is a new circa 2017 or thereabouts. I received and purchased that last year, 2017. Um, it is apparently part of a thousand uh, copies limited edition licensed to them in the 80s or 90s. So it is part of the same uh, batch of a thousand limited edition, but it isn't the same batch of printing. So it is different from, let's say, the 1996 edition. Again, I'll link the video up here. Click on the I or down below. Now, it is my contention and it is my current working theory that the Monumenta Longobardica edition is the same deck to US Games' first and second edition, Monumenta Longobardica's first and second editions, are the same decks, exactly the same item on the inside of the box compared to the one by US Games, um, first and second edition, which is 7475. That is one with the uh, line drawing um, Devil and the Tower, that's the first edition. I have not seen that in the US Games' uh, version or US Games' packaging. The second edition is with this kind, uh, with this, uh, they are most distinguishable or recognizable through the quote unquote replacement cards that they have. So this is the Monumenta Longobardica second edition. The printer was Grafica Gutenberg in Italy. And so US Games' second edition is exactly the same. These two artwork and produced also by Grafica Gutenberg in Italy. So it is the same exact deck. Um, the third edition is the one that we have here. Now, I do not have a third edition from Monumenta Longobardica. What I would love to know and see is whether the third edition Monumenta Longobardica is identical to the third edition US Games, because third edition US Games has now been printed by their old friend A.G. Müller in Switzerland. So the box comes like this with red, now their second edition, with um, which is the same deck as this one, that is my current working theory, that is my story at the moment and I'm sticking to it. And so the ones uh, with the edition with these two replacement cards for the Tower and the Devil, under the US Games brand, came in a box like this with gold, gold. So I was, um, I've actually purchased um, one, I made an offer for 50 US dollars on eBay, and before I managed to pay, the seller cancelled the purchase without consulting me, and he or she relisted it at a higher price, at US $95, and somebody bought that. So that was uh, very dishonorable indeed. Anyway, let's um, go to the differences that is most prominent, is the devil. This is Monument, uh, no, this is Il Menegello. That is Monumenta Longobardica 2nd Edition, and I believe US Games 2nd Edition as well. Please correct me. This is, if I am mistaken, this is an ongoing uh, investigation. So this is a current working theory to be revised when information, um, as information came to me, as information comes to me, as new one, as new information comes to me. And so the third edition is by Luigi Scapini which a deck I've showed you, the Medieval Scapini, is a real delight. I'm a big fan of his. To be honest with you, though, as much as I like his art style, I think, um, I'm not quite sure if, I don't know, and stylistically, I'm not quite sure which one blends the most with the original aesthetic. And the tower. So this is Il Menegello, current batch printing. That's the... Monumenta Longobardica, second edition, produced by Grafica Gutenberg, and I believe same card, same deck, 
as US Games is second edition, US Games is third edition. Again, I will put the um, website with all uh, with some information. Some of the information there, I I think might be debatable. I'm not sure, but I'll let you decide for yourself. And I'll link them down below anyway. Then the other differences, of course, is another missing. This one is definitely missing because all of the other suits have knights in them, so it doesn't make sense that the suit of coins doesn't. So this is the Knight of Coins. On the left is the um, Il Menegello. Current printing batch, but apparently is part of the same limited edition of a thousand, if I'm not mistaken. The middle is Monumenta Longobardica, second edition, printed by Grafica Gutenberg. I don't know whom Il Menegello printed uh, theirs with. I believe I've been told that they print their own cards. And the third on the right is third edition printed by A.G. Mueller, copyright 1984, US Games, black box with the window, red lettering. I suspect that's by Scapini as well. So that's the differences there. Hold on a second, I'm trying to focus and I have to do this manually by tapping onto the screen. So let's have a look at the back. Il Managello on the left, middle is Grafica Gutenberg, published by Monumenta Longobardica, and on the right is printed by A.G. Mueller, published by US Games, third edition. This one here, the cardstock's a bit more waxy, a bit more smooth, feels a bit more laminated, but lovely. It's really waxy. These two felt less um, laminated, the El Menegello and the Monumenta Longobardica or Grafica Gutenberg, these two, but lovely and crisp. Now uh, we'll take a look at... Let me just make sure that I don't confuse because just now I have managed to confuse some cards and it was terrifying for a split second to think that I have no idea which cards um, was piled on with which deck. But because they're distinct enough from each other, I could actually spot them if I mistakenly pile one in the wrong deck. So let me just put that there and then we'll see really quickly, just the majors. I'm not quite sure if the majors here um, are in order, or at least the in the order of um, that we're used to, the Golden Dawn ordering, but as long as they're in order with each other, because that's what's important. So for me, the most important or the most interesting thing for me is the comparison of the gold, um, of the reproduction of the gold leafing. So as you can see here, the US Games is really dark, but it's clearer. You can see all the texture. And the one in the middle, which is the one by Monumenta Longobardica Grafica Gutenberg, is the most gold. Um, this one here is A.G. Mueller, US Games 84, Monumenta Longobardica Grafica Gutenberg 75, and this one here Il Managello 2017 or thereabouts. So it feels to me that the Il Managello 2017 is most gold. Monumenta Longobardica is less gold but clearer. In US Games, Monumenta Longobardica is 75 there, Grafica Gutenberg. And AG Mueller, Switzerland, US Games 84 on the right here is the clearest but the darkest with regards to the reproduction of the gold leafing in the back. Let's check a few more.
Again, Il Manighello is the most gold. US Games 84, AG Mueller, Switzerland on the right is the darkest, but perhaps the clearest. And Monumenta Longobardica, Grafica Gutenberg 75 in the middle is right, almost um, strike a perfect balance for me. And again, it's sad for me that the nicest printing or the nicest reproduction is always the one, well, not, not always, but it feels as if the nicest reproduction is always the one that's just disappeared from the market. And I'm thinking like, what's going on? Um, and I'm not going to go into my theory of how business practices is ruining everything. I'm not going to get into that now, but you could, if you can see here, Il Manegelo recent edition on the left is the most gold. Again, um, 84 US games, third edition, AG Mueller, Switzerland on the right is the darkest, but the clearest. You can see the texturing in the back. And Monumenta Longobardica by Grafica Gutenberg 75 in the middle is almost like the perfect balance. The US games, um, if you're familiar with A.G. Mueller's cardstock, it's pretty consistent with that. It's lovely, it's waxy, it's smooth, it's matte. Um, as lovely as the other two are, especially the middle there. Grafica Gutenberg, uh, Monumenta Longobardica 75, you do often see, um, I do often see my handprints. It's easier to have your moisture got a bit stuck in the back. Like, you know, there's lots of finger marks on the back sometimes. Or they capture the most finger fingerprints. Maybe because it's, it's um, not laminated or maybe it's because the texture of the paper is a little bit textured not as smooth so it does attract a little bit more moisture Umenegelo on the left Monumenta Longobardica Grafica Gutenberg 75 in the middle US Games 84 by AG Mueller Switzerland on the right and the red is red because the goat leafing have peeled off so leaving whatever they've left behind there so that's a bit darker there's a bit more red um, and that's just all gold because I think they've kind of don't know have they restored that to how it's originally or whether that's the original and somehow the camera can pick it up in these two. I really would like to know that at the moment. I don't know. But we're assuming it's peeled off in the other two editions. Someone said that's a snake. I actually thought that that's a bow. Is that a bow or a snake that he's holding? I thought he's holding a bow and arrow. Anyway. The blue and green slightly different and I have to take into consideration um, an idea of whether that blue is originally like that from the printing or whether that's just aging from 75 to 2018, I don't know. 84, 75 last year. Grafica Gutenberg, E.G. Müller, Switzerland, 
Grafica Gutenberg Italy. Not sure. Again, I believe US Game Second Edition is the exact same deck as this one here. I would love a confirmation, but that is my contention at the moment. I think that dress is the same dress as Justice. It's interesting that there is a little hole on the top, so at some point this might have been hung that way as well as this way, I'm wondering. Anyway. So the differences are mainly the same in terms of color saturation and how the gold leafing is reproduced. I am personally most interested in the gold leafing, because so that's the hardest, I think, to, to find balance. Um, So the Monumenta Longobardica, uh, printed by Grafica Gutenberg, 75 here is the most similar to Il Menegello, who's also in Italy. US Games is um, E.G. Mueller, Switzerland printing on the right there from 84 is the most different. Arguably clearer in its texturing of the gold leaf part of it, but not as uh, shimmery. So again, these comparison I've done in another video, if you want to check that out just to get a better idea.
the edges. Um, I've spoken about the edges being a little bit grey in the Monumenta Longobardica Grafica Gutenberg 75 and a bit more creamish in the Il Menegello 2017. The uh, US Games 84 AG Mueller Switzerland over here is very, very cream, like almost yellow, like ivory, and um, a little bit thicker around the around the borders there, which I don't have a problem with. I think it's fine. No, I will not trim it. I think it's fine to have, I see the borders as protection almost to the original image. Lighting in this room in my new setup is not very good. A little different, a little difficult. Look at the blue, how the middle one is darker. Um, but the, the gold I, I think is quite brilliant. Let's have a look at the green. So it's interesting that the colors are a bit darker on the gold on the US Games 84. Switzerland there, but the color doesn't seem to come across as intense. So I think when you're choosing the colors, uh, enhancing one thing seem to have uh, compromised something else. Menegel on the left, 2017. Grafica Gutenberg Monumenta Longobardica, 75 in the middle. US Games, AG Mueller, Switzerland, 84 on the right, third edition, second edition on the middle, in the middle, um, third edition on the right. looking at the gold, I'm basically focusing on the gold. Because I think the differences in the other, other aspects are quite minute, to me anyway, or if there are differences, they're not significant enough for me to feel one way or another um, in favor or against one or the other. Um, the gold, on the other hand, if they're not done very well, they can come across quite muddy and unpleasant.
in this case the blue of the US game is a bit more cobalt and the blue on the other two here this one here is the most turquoise which is absolutely lovely I really like it this one here is in between Again, I'm focusing on the gold there. Hold on, I just need to focus for you. Okay, we're hitting 29 minutes, going to 30. I will leave you there. I'll talk to you guys later.